now. I even <laughs> found some. Yeah, that's right. She's taking us all to dinner at that tomorrow. Really. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we've got a mixed bag tomorrow. We've got rain. We've got snow and possibly some freezing in the evening hours. We got big time snow. That's what we're concerned about as we go into the morning commute. So let's go outside right now where George Washington Bridge, boy, it looks a lot better than it will in about four or five hours as the snow begins to kick in. We've had some light rain in New York City. It's been mixing with sleet. A northeast wind at 12 to 21 and a high near 60 earlier in the day. So hard to believe that we're going to be snowing to beat the band tomorrow morning, especially in this area, Comac, around Concoma. Could we see six, eight inches in these areas tomorrow on some snow-covered roadways? 34 Monticello, cold air diving in from the north right now. You can see it. And as the low moves up the coast and those north winds continue to increase, it'll be dragged down the Hudson Valley. The cold air will, and we'll just get even colder. So by 8 in the morning, peak time with the storm, heavy snow, north wind around 15 to 30 miles an hour. And the sun's coming out just after lunchtime, and the evening commute will be a lot easier. Already, and this is Putnam County, and I just got a tweet from there saying, you know, could we be a little higher as well? I'll show you the snow bands and why I think actually a heavier snow band could get into northern Westchester and into Putnam. Meanwhile, near Carmel and Brewster, little mixing going there already. It's very light. Rain getting steadier along the coast and coming up the coast. Our low is down here off the Carolinas. And you can see how right here is where we're going to see the cutoff in the rain snow. So watch what happens here. Between 2 and 4 in the morning is when we have the big changeover happening. Numbers mostly above freezing. So, you know, 4 or 5 in the morning, roadways should just be wet. But there's a big change between 5 and 6 in the morning. Things really start to deteriorate. So an early start will really help you. Because by the time we get to sunrise, we're in the peak storm. Look at the banding here, especially heavy from the city south and east. And we're seeing slushy roads develop and even some snow-covered roads to the east, less to the west. This will be winding down late morning and certainly pulling out in the afternoon, giving way to some afternoon sun. All right, so we have three to six inches from the city eastward, Monmouth and Ocean County. I did bow this three to six inch band into parts of the Hudson Valley just a little bit more because I think some extra bands can get in here. The other area may be parts of Middlesex and Somerset County. Some of this heavy snow may get into this area too. Otherwise, we get into northernmost New Jersey, one to three inches and a coating to an inch off to the north. I think a good amount for the city is probably a four or three inch amount in Manhattan, but we could see some fives and even sixes getting into Brooklyn and Queens. It's that close. Wet snow and wind, low visibilities at sunrise, slushy roads just getting worse as we go through the commute. Breezy with clouds breaking for sun in the afternoon and much easier for the evening commute, although later tomorrow night, watch out for some icy roads. As we go through the weekend, we've got icy conditions on Saturday morning, otherwise more melting over the weekend. As we look into next week, we're going to miss a big storm offshore on Monday, but I think we get accumulating snows on Tuesday. Right now, that doesn't have major snowfall written all over it, but there is accumulating snow on Tuesday. It's a cold and snowy week. Bill Evans is here early, 4 a.m. with an important update. Okay, Excellent. thank you, Lee. Got it. Up next, my chocolate it may be a good thing for pregnant women. Also, two new cases of the Zika virus, and it's how they got it that has health officials so concerned. Close captioning is sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan. For the closest location, please visit RaymoreFlanagan.com. Meet 